So far, the flames have burned nearly 75,000 acres in Placer and El Dorado counties. You know the fire by well, well by now. The fires destroyed 78 structures and damaged at least 13 others. But some good news, more evacuation orders have just been lifted. Let's check it out. In El Dorado County, people living in the areas of Cool, Georgetown, Proper, Cannon Creek, Bottle Hill can all return home. In Placer County, as you take a look at the Eldo numbers, uh, in Placer County, people living in the Todd Valley, part of Forest Hill Road and Pine Ridge Road can now return home. Let's get to CBS 13's Shantae Passmore live in Georgetown, where people are headed back home tonight. Shantae? Yeah, that's right, guys. Since we got to town, you can just feel how grateful people are to be finally able to return home. Since we got here, people have been yelling, cheering while waving at us just to say that they are happy to be home. And on the way to Georgetown, you can't help but miss that there were several signs pointing towards firefighters and law enforcement, thanking them for the hard work they're doing. Like right here behind me on Main Street, right there it reads, you'll see on your screens, thank you will never be enough. Meanwhile, El Dorado County Sheriff's Office announced downgrades for evacuation zones. As we mentioned at the top of the show, places like Georgetown and Cool are in the clear, meaning they're in the green. Meanwhile, other communities like Cannon Creek have gone from an order to a warning. Fire officials tell me without a doubt the rain is helping. Now, it's not going to be enough to put the fire out, which we're just southwest of, but it's going to slow it down by increasing fuel moisture. Here's where it could get a little little tricky. If it's a heavy downpour, then that is not a good sign. It's more helpful if the rain is slow and steady. And as I mentioned, so many people have spent more than a week out of their homes. And one woman really put it into perspective on what this moment means for so many communities who are now able to sleep in their own beds tonight. Cindy Carvello's message to first responders speaks for a lot of people this evening. Thank you to the first responders makes me cry. God bless y'all. And as you just saw, Cindy was very emotional while she was talking to us. She is just so immensely happy to be returning home with her husband. Um, but many people understand that they're not out of the woods just yet. We have to remember that the mosquito fire is still very much active. But again, a lot of people are just feeling thankful.